what they're doing is they're taking a, a product that they already have, which has got a lot of the components in terms of the control and the translation and, and adapting it for use in additive. Okay. So okay. it's a natural you know, addition to their product line. We're going to be able to you know, test it out, demonstrate the sorts of things you can do with it, probably tweak the design as we go through. I mean, we've, you know, this is a natural evolution for us because if you look at the additive manufacturing machines in the other part of this room, one thing you'll notice is they're relatively small. Uh, so you can make incredibly complicated components but you can't make big things. Whereas this machine here, which is uh, kind of a handmade uh, sort of a thing, bolted together, I would call the lash-up job, is, is now got a much larger build platform. But this is, a, this is a research tool. It's an engineering prototype. Okay. This is not something that a company can go out and, and buy. It's, it's a research tool for us to figure out you know, how to deposit the material, how does it work when you put carbon fiber in it, and that sort of thing. The next step is to go from this kind of cobbled together research tool that requires, you know, engineers laboring over it and love and attention to something which is a product that will go onto a shop floor in factories all over the country and, and will be used in a real production environment for fabricating large scale items at, at industrial scale and with the sort of speed and throughput that you need.